Amigos de Latin America Meetings TV, eh, buenos días. Estamos en una conversación más para platicar con profesionales, líderes de la industria, amigos, eh, todos los que formamos parte de la industria de reuniones. Y eh, en esta ocasión nos vamos hasta San Petersburgo eh, con una gran amiga, una gran profesional en la industria de la hospitalidad y representando una cadena y un hotel espectacular. Eh, el Hotel Belmont allá en San Petersburgo, uno de los hoteles del portafolio de Belmont que tiene mayor capacidad para eventos. Ana, good morning from Mexico. Good afternoon at St. Petersburg. Uh, thank you very much for the time for being here with us. What can we find at the Belmont in St. Petersburg? And how do you suggest we continue the conversations to be prepared and to work on the incentive programs as soon as we can take them down there? What are your suggestions? Hola, Rafa. Gracias por invitarme. Thank you so much for inviting me today. It's a real pleasure for me. You're my big friend from Mexico and you know I love this country and I love working with clients from Mexico. So it's a big pleasure for me to talk about this right now because I know we have a big connection between Russia and Mexico. I would say Russia is a great destination for incentive trips. And as of 2020, People from Mexico can visit St. Petersburg with electronic visa. This is free of charge, so this was a big news for us, a very important thing. Um, visa for no charge. You just need four days to register and receive the papers and you are ready to travel. And the second biggest news is that from 2021, you can visit all Russia with electronic visa. So you can go to Moscow and you can visit St. Petersburg together. As I would say, this is the best combination you can do. Visit both of the cities. As for our hotel, Belmont Grand Hotel Europe, we are the first five-star hotel that was open in Russia. So if you stay with us, if you visit us, you feel the St. Petersburg city already as of entering to the hotel. This is, I would say, the main point. This is for those who want to see the city and to feel the city. We are open during this time, so we are working all the time. We never close the hotel. Of course, now we are open for local people, for people coming from the city or people mostly coming from Moscow. And as of July 15th, we are planning to open the borders. First, that would be around 15 countries. And as of August, we open for European countries as well. So I would say closer to August, September time, we will be ready to invite everyone to our country. Also, what is important, we have a special organization, governmental organization, who organize all of the sanitary norms in Russia. And uh, they do list all of the things that are important to do in hotels, in restaurants, everywhere. And every hotel and restaurant work according to this law. So I would say that 100% everyone has to do everything what is needed and everyone is already doing that. So this is super important for us. And I would say the moments we are ready to open the borders, we would be ready also to advise and recommend how you can organize the event. What would be the capacities for the meeting rooms? So this would be the most important question for everyone, how they can travel and what they can do in frames of this size of a meeting room, for example. In this case, with the situation that is happening now, I would say 2021 would be the year where you can start planning the incentive trips to Russia. And as I already said, Moscow and St. Petersburg is the best combination you can do. And this is for minimum five nights trip if you want to visit both cities. And I would say up to seven nights would be the comfortable time to stay We have a fast speed train between two cities, which is only three and a half hours. So this gives you an opportunity not to spend a lot of time in uh, going to the airport, to stay in traffic. So this would be the best time to connect between the cities. And we would be happy to see everyone next year. There are plenty of things that clients from Mexico, clients from Latin America can visit and do in the city. We have amazing cuisine, we have amazing restaurants, Uh, Russian musicians, something traditional, something very local, museums, palaces, beautiful places to take pictures. You can go in the summertime on the rivers, on the boat. For example, now we have the most magnificent time, the time of the white nights, when it doesn't get dark at night. So everyone tried to stay late, everyone tried to go on the river to see the bridges open. So this is the magic time in St. Petersburg. 
Also, I would say that prices are very attractive at the moment. Of course, we all understand that this is mostly because of the crazy situation happening now. But for those who are coming now and doing their request for 2021, this is also, you know, we're trying to support the business, we're trying to support the industry and we're trying to make the best offers or something very tailor-made with special pricing or special added values for the clients to support the business, to support the industry as much as we can from our side as well. That's perfect. And just to remember for all the people that are uh, seeing this video, uh, the size of the events that can fit in your hotel, uh, we understand maybe there's a, a, a really important market for incentive programs, but still you have really good spaces down there in the hotel and the number of rooms that you have, because I think everybody would like to see what kind of size of groups they can take down there uh, regarding the space that you have in the hotel. So at the hotel, we have 266 rooms and seven meeting rooms. The, bit, the biggest ballroom, which is on the top floor and has a beautiful view to the rooftops of St. Petersburg, can accommodate up to 300 people for the conference and up to 170 people for the dinner. So with all of that, we can mix different type of events. And this, I would say the biggest one we did inside of the hotel was for 600 people. That would be a cocktail reception between two restaurants. But also what we do, we work as a full-time catering company. In St. Petersburg, we have many palaces which you can rent. This would be the most amazing experience for incentive group coming from Mexico, Latin America, where you can have the final dinner in a beautiful palace with a very special environment, with special music. This is really uh, impressive. And in this case, we could be the one who would serve the dinner. And we work with all the palaces in St. Petersburg, and this is really a big part of our business. So I would say also for outside events, we can do and we can provide our services. So that's a great combination and really good to know because you can have the rooms in the hotel, you can have your, your conference, you can have the content in the day uh, at the hotel, and by the night you can go to these special places and have the warranty of the, the food and beverage from the hotel. So that will be easy for everybody to have just one count and have the quality and the warranty of the Belmont. If you have an incentive program that will have kind of a gathering, they will have to have a meetings and the meeting room, but then they can have two days of leisure time and to see what do you will recommend for them. I would say we have different types of programs depending on the season when the guests would like to travel. So I would talk a bit about summertime and the white nights because this is the most magical season. This is the special thing you can see only in St. Petersburg. So first of all, you would have to go to Peterhof Palace, which is one of the most amazing places in the suburbs. It's the Russian Versailles, so you have a beautiful palace, beautiful museum, but the most amazing part, you have huge park with beautiful fountains, and it's on the water, so you can get there right from city center. It takes only 30 minutes to go there by boat, so this would be one of the experiences. Also, I would say for those who love art and love culture, I would definitely recommend visiting the Hermitage Museum. You don't have to spend the whole day there, but you can do like one or two hour tour. Or for someone who is not that much into art, I would say the most important thing would be at least to do the city tour and see everything, how the city looks like, because it's a museum on fresh air, you know. Then definitely taking a boat would be an amazing experience seeing the city from the water because we are also called the Northern Venice yes. and we are very much alike in this case. So this is very interesting also to see it from the water. Or you can organize a dinner or you can as a, organize a cocktail on a boat. So this can be as an option as well. I'm sure that everybody will like to continue the conversation with you. And we have great news for everybody. Anna is going to come to Mexico. If you want to say hello to Anna, she will be on August with us at the Los Cabos World Meetings Forum. Thank you for being here with us at Latin America Meetings TV. Thank you, Rafa. This is a real pleasure for me. Thank you so much for having me, and I hope to see everyone at the World Meetings Forum in August in Los Cabos. Gracias.